Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, this comes from a question today. I'll include all types of connections here. It's about um, smart TVs or even on PCs streaming videos and not getting the full resolution that actually can be displayed. So, uh, and the question today, it's mostly um, a question about streaming videos and not being able to reach 4K and being stuck in HD on most uh, of the uh, videos that you see. So there are several things to know about this. Uh, first of all, um, the question comes from a TV that is connected through Ethernet, which means that it's a cable that's plugged in. That, of course, ensures stability and the fastest speeds. But you still need to check out one thing. What's the speed of your connection? Just make sure that it's right. And you can go to a website like speedtest.net. So here is the example of my connection through Wi-Fi. 563 megabits download and 56 megabits upload. This actually goes up to 940 megabits when I'm connected through uh, Ethernet cable. So make sure that your speeds are good and stable. That's the first thing to know. If you have good internet speed, you see that it's really fast, then what could prevent um, your TV, a smart TV, or a device not reaching 4K? First, you've got to understand that not everything is 4K. There's actually not that much content 4K yet. There is, yes, absolutely, a lot of movies are. But the fact is, a lot of the movies that are of a couple of years only and older will all come up in HD rather than 4K. That's one thing to know. Also, remember that if you're talking about streaming videos like on Netflix, 4K is an extra. So you might need to pay a little more to actually see 4K resolution show up on your smart TV. That's the other thing you need to know. So in some cases, that might be what's happening. The other thing is, of course, if it's videos like YouTube videos, for example, YouTube will have a way to sometimes throttle the speed. It usually is in a uh, auto mode. So you see here, I've got a little icon that says HD. I can actually make this bigger here. So you could see that it says HD here. So that means that I am reaching HD on this video, for example. Now, the video might not have 4K, it might. And to know that, you'll have to go to the little um, pinwheel here, the little settings wheel, and look at what it offers. You'll see that the quality of the video is here, automatic, 1080p at 60 uh, frames per second. And if you look at it, there's no other option higher than that. That means you'll be stuck at HD because no 4K is available on this video. So you'll have to make sure that the videos that you actually look at do uh, have 4K capabilities. For example, my videos that I make here, a lot of them do have 4K capabilities because it depends on what device that I'm doing it. If I'm doing it on a PC with a big screen, I'll have 4K capability. If I do it, or if I do a video with my smartphone, uh, a Galaxy S22, I will also be outputting a video in 4K. But if I do uh, videos on Windows 10, for example, or on my Windows 11 laptop, because of the screen resolution, well, this that will actually come up as HD only. So these are things to note, that not everything is 4K. Sometimes you have to manually up to 4K. It could happen. Uh, you could need to go into the settings of an app, for example, if you look at videos or on YouTube, and tell it force 4K when it's available. And for those that are connected through Wi-Fi, this is another thing to check out. Wi-Fi, if your TV is at a certain distance from your router wirelessly. It might not have fast enough speed to give you 4K. 
um, that case, it will default to HD because of the speed and of the you know data rate that it needs to actually enforce a 4K video image. So in Wi-Fi, it's not impossible. Also, make sure that you're connected to the proper um, you know uh, connectivity of of either five gigahertz. Uh, and now the new 6 gigahertz, 2.4 gigahertz might not actually give you 4K. It might just stop at HD. So there's all of these little things to look at. But it might uh, mostly be the fact that either the streaming service you're actually using does not offer 4K. Or if it does, like I said, you know, like Netflix, for example, uh, there's an extra for 4K. If you do not pay the extra, you are watching Netflix at HD. And YouTube, a um, big majority of the content is actually in HD only. Uh, so that will be the other uh, problem there. So it could, most of the problem, if your connection's good, and in your case of the question today, it's connected through Ethernet cable. So if you have fast internet, it's connected with the cable, so that means it's the fastest it can be. Chances are it's the content you're watching that isn't made 4K. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.